Okay, so um, the sake here has uh, hit the 140 mark for the temperature. So we'll take it out and we'll shift that around. But uh, before completing, what I'll, I'll do is I'll bring the sake out and we'll fill a couple of the bottles, cap them up. And then from there, it's just routine, the same process over and over and over um, until you're done. So at this point, we're just going to do this, a few bottles, and then we'll close out. And that'll be it for, for our session. I'll continue and, and do the rest um, you know, off camera. Uh, but you'll you'll have a good idea of everything it takes. So this is uh, the sake in the hot water bath now that I'm pulling out here, and uh, yeah. um, it looks a little uh, little like Mountain Dew here. And the the main reason for that is that the the jug here has got a little green tint to it, so it's it's really not <laughs> Mountain Dewish, but. Um, Anyway, so I've uh, got a number of bottles here that I've cleaned, and one of one of the tricks that I picked up from working uh, with uh, some of the local brew uh, groups is that you can put the bottles after they're clean; they have to be you know fully clean. But you put them in your dish uh, washer and run it without any soap or anything like that, and the heat actually sanitizes them and gets them ready for uh, bottling. So. Um, here I've got a, a couple of small bottles. Um, these are going to be uh, uh, things that we're giving away here pretty quick. And I, I probably forgot to mention this, but um, you know I just pulled this out of a iota four bath, and you know all of the uh, uh, materials that we use are all sanitized uh, before we um, use them. So. That's important for you to do always. And that should be. I'm using my wife's funnel here, and it's a little different than the one I normally use, but. I don't understand what, what it's doing. Suction. Yeah, maybe it's suction or something. It's kind of weird. So, anyway, this, this sake you know, is all 140 degrees, so it's not, not chilly. I'll just put a slight bit more in there, and then we'll fit a cap to this one. And this glass here that I'm holding is hot. Yeah, that looks good. And uh, I don't remember what its cap looked like. So let me try this one. That seems to be a good cap. So, um, The colored bottle, and especially the brown, helps to block the ultraviolet from the sun. And as sunlight is uh, not a good thing for your sake, you want to, you know, kind of do as much of that uh, as you can um, to improve the, the chances for the sake to stay well over time. careful here as I get up close to the top because you wouldn't want to make a mess. Okay, that's probably close enough. Switch to another round one. Okay. At this point we almost uh, done this. We've got uh, some bottles um, uh, completed here, uh, others to go, and we certainly have this next batch, and uh, that's that's pretty much the process that we uh, will go through to complete the whole pro the whole um, bottling process. And we went through the amelioration, 
bottling, the pasteurization, and really after this we'll let the bottles cool. Once they're cool, then we can go ahead and refrigerate them if we want to. If we uh, don't want to store them someplace, hopefully out of uh, the light and things like that, cool is, you know, if, if you have the room to refrigerate, that's even better. So, uh, you know, enjoy your sake. We'll see you. Bye.